Almost half of Australians will experience a mental illness in their lifetime. For every person with a complex mental health problem, there are at least five other people around them that are affected. Only 46% of people with mental health problems access treatment. St Vincent's is based within an, an area of um, extremes. You know, we have a, a high proportion of patients that have some significant vulnerabilities um, and it's crucial that we can support them here at St Vincent's Mental Health Service. Our mental health can hit anybody at any age, from very young to very old. The first time I noticed that I had a mental health problem was when I was about 16 uh, and it was the first time that I started self-harming uh, and that led to my first suicide attempt. I first became aware I had a mental illness when I was 60. I had a major manic attack and a major manic episode and finished up being hospitalised involuntarily. When I was 24 after my second attempt, uh, and that was when I was in care at, at, here at St Vincent's, um, was when I really learned to, to manage um, things and the skills that probably took a long time to perfect. I've, I've had three major episodes. The first one was undiagnosed and untreated uh, and I was lucky I didn't kill myself. The second two I finished up in hospital so that's a different scenario. I think it, it impacts people in terms of their socialisation, their employment and, and education in terms of their physical well-being as well so it's really uh, it can impact every area of a person's life and I think it's our job to make sure we're not just addressing the symptoms but we're supporting patients through that whole journey. Park most certainly will be a game changer for our service here at St Vincent's. Park is a um, what we call a recovery centre so it will be um, a step up, step down facility for either patients in the community who um, don't quite need hospital treatment but require some additional um, support. Uh, in terms of the step down, often you know patients will stay with us for a short period of time on the ward whilst they're acutely unwell. And then they may uh, improve but might not be quite ready to go back home. So the, the park will offer an opportunity for them um, to spend some time, uh, I guess, getting used to not being in the hospital environment uh, but sort of moving on into the community. It's something that's missing I mean, I think the acute facilities are fine uh, but you need a lead in and a lead out uh, which are not there at the moment. Look I guess primarily it's uh, to improve the patient journey. It allows us to increase the amount of support that we can give some of these uh, patients while they're in the community uh, at, at times that they might need that little bit extra and you know, hopefully avoiding keeping them in hospital for, for longer than necessary or, or at all if we can. Mental illness is just an illness. No one should live with a mental illness on their own. You can help.